Let's have a look at Ideogram Canvas. On Ideogram's homepage, you will find Canvas in the left sidebar. Ideogram Canvas is actually now available for all Ideogram plans. However, if you're on a free plan, you can only create two canvases and you don't get the magic fill and extend tool. On top of that, you can only upload images if you're an Ideogram Plus or Pro user. Now with that out of the way, let us now have a closer look at Ideogram Canvas. First, within your canvas, you will find these tools right here. As mentioned before, Magic Fill and Extend are only available if you're on a Pro or a Plus plan. Now let me explain each of these here in more detail. First of all, we have Generate, which lets you generate new designs directly within your canvas. So I'm just going to input a prompt real quick. And below that, you will find these options right here. So we will keep the design private. Let me change the aspect ratio here of the design to 9 by 16. As far as the style goes, we'll just go with Auto. Magic prompt on, and as far as the colors go, we will also leave this on auto. Now we click on generate and let's see what happens. As you can see here in Canvas as well, whenever you generate something, four different images are created. Okay, pretty cool. So these four images are now part of our canvas. To move around your canvas, you can press and hold space on your keyboard and then left click and drag. To zoom in or zoom out, you can press and hold the command or option key on your keyboard and then use the mouse wheel. So far so good, for the moment we have just added new generations to our canvas. Next, let us have a look at the Magic Fill tool now. So I equip it here in the left sidebar. The Magic Fill tool is probably the most exciting update as far as Ideogram Canvas goes. With this tool, you can draw over parts of the image you want to change. So I've generated this beautiful castle for you guys here. And now let us try to add something to it. The first thing you want to do is to click on next here on top. Then you will get this frame right here. Make sure to put that frame exactly over the image that you would like to edit. Now here on top, we're going to add our prompt. Before we generate this now, we have to tell Ideogram exactly in which area we want to apply magic fill in our design. For this purpose, you have to use one of these three masks right here. In our case, we will go with a rectangle mask, so I'll simply click on that. And then in our design, I simply left click and drag to mark the area. Once that is done, we are ready to generate. So I click on Magic Fill here on top. So let's see what happens. So here's one of the results that's actually pretty awesome. To see the other results, left click on your image and you can then browse through the generations right here. So to see the second result, we just click here on Next Result. And there are actually some small issues right here. However, the style of the princess looks really good and fits the overall design really well. So let's have a look at the next result. Oh, this one is really good, isn't it? And let's have a look at the last result. Yeah, nice. Overall, it did a pretty amazing job. Now, one thing to note when you use Magic Fill is that it actually layers these results over your original image. So your original image is now actually behind these generations. When you left click and drag over one of these results here, you will then find your original image behind that. You can then obviously still browse through your results right here. Choose the one that you like best and you can then put it over the original image again if you want, but you can also just keep it like this, of course. So this is how Magic Fill works. Next, let's have a look at the Extend tool. Let's work with something new though. So first I go to Generate here again. Let's move these designs out of the way for the moment. To do so, simply press and hold space on your keyboard and then drag. And let's generate the following. A beautiful woman on a sofa. We hit Generate and here are our results. I like this one right here, so I will just delete the other ones. So let us use this one right here to experiment with our Extend tool. To equip the Extend tool, click on Extend in the left sidebar. I will just zoom out a little bit. And now first of all, we have to adjust our frame right here to show Ideogram the Extend to which we would like to extend this design. So I just clicked on the frame and now with the use of these bar handles, we can extend the design. So I would like to have something like this. This will make it a 3 by 2 ratio, that's fine by me. And now before we extend this, we obviously have to adjust the prompt here on top to tell Ideogram what we want to see in the extended version. So I will just change this into a beautiful woman and a man on a sofa. And let's give this a go by clicking on extend here. Okay, we are generating now. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna turn out. Wow, that looks pretty amazing, apart from the usual problem with hands and fingers. Let's have a look at the other results. We can just left click on our image here and then browse through the results using the arrows here at the bottom. So let's have a look at the first result. Here again, this looks really, really good, but again, the gentleman here has some huge problems with his hands. Let's have a look at the other results. This one is a little bit creepy, isn't it? <laughs> so let's check the last one. Well, not too bad, but there's something a little bit dubious going on with his eyes, right? <laughs> so as you can see, this actually worked really well. The only problem we actually had were hands and sometimes also eyes, which are general problems that AI image generation software such as Midjourney and Ideogram 
has. So let's do one more experiment with extend. So we click on extend here in the left sidebar again. Then we adjust the frame here. And now let's just try a beautiful woman sitting on a sofa again. And my hope now is that it will simply extend the sofa and will make it look like a complete sofa and a complete room. So once again, I will click here on extend and let's see what happens. Okay, this didn't seem to work really well. So let's have a look at the other results though. The first result, okay, doesn't work. The third result, it just didn't fill in the blanks. So it really looks like you have to add to the prompt and can't use the same prompt again to extend. But let's have a look at the last result as well. You never know. And boom, actually it worked here. Pretty cool. That's what I actually wanted. So this looks pretty cool. But wait, what is this here actually? I didn't even notice this to begin with. There's actually something really funky going on with her hand here as well. But yeah, I guess it is what it is. You always have to be very careful with these designs and check each design closely for these types of flaws. Now let us have a look at the remix feature. The remix feature isn't actually something new because it already exists outside of Canvas. The same is obviously true for Generate. However, the remix function has been upgraded as well because within Canvas, you can actually also just remix a part of an image. And this is something you couldn't do up to now. I will demonstrate this in a minute. But first of all, let me use this image of a woman right here to illustrate how remix works in Canvas. First of all, as always, we have to take our frame here and make sure to put that over the area that we would actually like to remix. To begin with, we will put this over the whole image here, just like so. Now let's remix this. So we go on top and enter a prompt. A photo of the face of a woman with a thinking pose. The image rate by default is 50 and this usually creates the best results in my experience. So I'll leave it at that. Let's remix this now. And here are our results. The first one right here comes with our hand problem. So we would definitely delete that one. The second one actually looks pretty good, so we would keep that. The third one looks really good as well. Everything's fine with the hands. And then we have that last one. The top part looks really good, but look at this here. What a mess. So let's delete that one as well. I told you before that in Ideogram Canvas, you can also just remix part of the image. So let's have a look at that as well now. So for that purpose, we're going to adjust our frame right here. So I'll just put that frame something like this here. And let's just remix that part. I will leave the prompt the same as we had before. And let's hit remix again. And here's the result, pretty amazing. I'm not sure where the clothes are here in the first picture, but apart from that, it looks good. The second picture looks great. The third one as well, and the last one too. So when you remix it like this, as you can see, this will automatically change the aspect ratio and dimensions of your image to match your selection that you chose when remixing. Now, last but not least, in Ideogram, you also get an upload and download option right here. The upload option here is only available if you are on Ideogram Plus or Pro. I'm not sure about the download option, but it should be available for all ideogram plans, right? So let's have a look at the upload feature. So we click on it and now let's upload some image. Let's go with this background right here that I actually created earlier on in mid journey. So we upload that and here it is. And we can now add stuff to our uploaded image, no matter where this image actually comes from. It could be a photo that you have taken on your iPhone. It can be something that you created in mid journey or whatever. So let's try magic fill. So we click on next here on top. The frame here is now around our uploaded image, so that's great. Now let us choose the mask. I will go with the rectangle mask again. I set the area for magic fill and I guess I would like to see a close up of a wizard in the foreground of our image. So let's try that. A close up of a wizard. We click on magic fill. Wow, that's pretty cool, right? Let's see the other results as well. So we left click on it and we click on the arrow here to see the other results. Yeah, this result is a little bit dubious. This one's better. And this one's not too bad either, but it looks like something of the arm here is missing, unfortunately. So this result is definitely the best one in my opinion. We could now also add some text here on top. So let's try that. So once again, we go back to magic fill. We click on next. We select a rectangular mask. And we set the prompt and we click on magic fill. Let's see what happens. Well, nothing happened so far, it seems. So I left click on the design. And let's have a look at the other results. Maybe they are better because I actually wanted to add some text right here, but it apparently didn't work. Second result, nothing. First result, nothing. And let's have a look at the last result. Nothing. I'm not sure why this didn't work. So let's go back to magic fill again. This time I will remove add because it seems that whenever I add something like this, this seems to confuse ideograms. So let's just do the text, the wizard. But once again, no text. So let's left click on it and see the other results. But if you just write the wizard though, let's give this a try as well. Okay, nothing. 
Let's left click on it. Let's have a look at the other results. No, no, no. And now let's try to give it more detail. So this time I wrote a fantasy background with a wizard in the foreground and the text, the wizard on top. Let's click on magic fill. Let's add the mask. And we hit magic fill again. So this is really the last try. I really hope we can get this done now. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. And finally we did it. We have our title, the wizard right here. Let's have a look at the other results as well. Oh, this one is really cool. It's a little bit sad. It didn't add it here in the very middle of the image. But apart from that, the style and the font fits amazingly well with the rest. Let's have a look at the result number three. Yeah, that's not bad. That's that's pretty cool as well. And number four, I like the font and the style, but it actually added some sort of flying wizard here in the top right corner. So that's pretty funny, right? Now to wrap this up, let's also have a look at the download option here within Ideogram Canvas. So we click on that. And this is actually pretty interesting because apparently it lets you download individual elements here of your canvas, but you can also download multiple generations within your canvas at once as some sort of collage or complex image. So let me first just try to download an individual generation here within our canvas. So I will just take these handles here and just move them here over this design right here. Just, just like so. In the download panel right here, you can then see the width and height that is currently selected right here. And you can then just click on download. And here's that downloaded design. Now let us expand the borders right here to something like this here, like we had it in the beginning. Now let's hit download again. And here's how that looks like. We obviously have too much blank space here that we would need to fill up with either other generations or we would have to resize these images right here to make this look right. Because we obviously don't want to have this sort of empty space here in our image. So let me quickly fix this. And now let's download this again. I will just set the border here again. And then we click on download again right here. And there you go, much, much better. It's obviously still not perfect because I just resized these two images right here. So they're a little bit cut off here at the edges, but I'm sure you get the idea and understand what possibilities this brings for you. And that's about it about the basic features of Ideogram Canvas. Let me just give you one bonus tip before we actually finish this off. When you click on the Ideogram logo in the top left corner of the screen, then you will get back to your Ideogram feed. Now, if you see something in the feed that you really like, then please note that you can also add any of these awesome creations into your very own canvas and then take it from there and add stuff to it with magic fill or even extend the image with the new extend feature. To do just that, click on the three dots below a design that you particularly like and then simply click on edit in canvas. This will open up this design in a new canvas and you can then do all the things that we did before with our own generations. That's pretty amazing as well. On top of that, if you would like to add this image now to one of your existing canvases, then you could also do that. Just right click on the image and click on copy. Then click on the three horizontal lines right here. Go to your canvas. Then right click and click on paste. And this will add the image to your very own canvas. In our case, it added it here on top. But you can then obviously take it and put it wherever you want within your canvas. And that's it guys. This is all you need to know about Ideogram's new canvas feature. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Ideogram tutorials.